Hey everyone, Strobe Lions here from the Automator, and uh, again, I'm talking with Jean Lalonde, the author of Quick Access Pop Up. Hi, and today, yeah, hey Jean, how you doing? Um, today, we're just going to do a simple example of how easy it is to add icons to your menus and folders and whatever you want in QAP, basically. Yeah. In uh, fact, there's always icons, but these are default icons. So if you have many folder yeah. items in your menu, they will all have the same icon. So what we can see is how to make the, the folders that you want to uh, to distinguish inside your menu. So um, that's weird that mobile stuff lost this. Uh, yeah, just so doing, you could edit that, but the mobile stuff just has no icon, which is not the default thing. I don't I, know how you I, did I selected no icon, sorry. Uh, yeah. I, I, um, yeah, you should I removed just, it. Yeah. yeah. It returned to customize and we, we maybe you can continue from there right after. Yeah, you so can edit. write edit or right click. And then so, click, click the X uh, uh, beside the icon uh, okay. and it will return to the default. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, well, um, clearly yeah. this is where for me, like I, I've been using QAP for several years now and I love the icons, right? Like I think the tool, if it didn't have icons, it would, it would be so much harder to use. So I go through and take a little bit of time and apply icons you know, to most things but let's go through and demonstrate. Um, let's say you had a given, yeah. um, so well, I, this, I, this is a group. Yeah. Or, or, or just add a new folder and we'll just okay. see how to uh, select an icon for, for this folder. So let's go through and add like my music folder here, which you can see clearly doesn't have any sort of, it's not the default Windows music folder. This is under Dropbox and I just have it here. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a little bit of stuff. So first thing I would do is add it to QAP, right? Because yeah. I don't. I don't, I'm not sure if it's in there already. So this is the simple way. Yep. Now we're in here, but I know I go to menu options yep. and change icon. Yeah. And it will open a list of icons that comes with quick access pop-up. We can see later that you could select uh, images from other sources. But if you look at the, the third line, the third before the end, there's an icon with a music note. So you could select this, for example, for your music folder and add, save. And if you open your menu, you will see that this folder will have this uh, music note icon associated to this folder instead of the plain vanilla folder. So you could select any icons that we've seen in the, the file that you was open, or we could select other icons as well. Yeah, so and so here, I, this is the default, correct me if I'm wrong, these are the icons you provide with QAP. Yeah. But then there, these are two very frequently used DLL files that have icons in them that are built into every, well, as far as I know, every version of Windows, um, yeah. back to at least XP. And so you can reliably pick one of these and, you know, and use them. The thing I love about it, Jean, is like you mentioned before with the picking of that note you said it very well you could pick it if you think it works right it's it's what works for you or you can be really anal retentive like me and i'm going to say i'm going to go to browse and i use it so much i have a hot string to pull it up and here i have like my different alphabet icons i have numbers yeah um, and then i have programs but you can pick and choose or go you know save your own and put it where you want and, and then there yeah, and there you have uh, files that are already uh, icon files, but with quick access pop-up, you could also use any JPEG or yeah. GIF images well, as icons. Yeah, any and type of if I'm image. wrong, you can even select an EXE. If I remember correctly, it'll, it'll... If you select an EXE, it will look at what are the icons inside yeah. this EXE. Same thing for DLL files. Right. Yeah. So yeah, so, oh, and look, I actually have the same, same similar as you as these. I broke them out as the separate files, but yeah. So, so if yeah, you select so, an IC ICO file, it will use this icon directly. If you select a DLL file or an EXE file, it will show you what are the icons inside this file. And then you select which one you want to use as icon. Okay, well, let's just pick something for now. Um. <laughs> yeah, you have to prepare your image. They have to be square and maximum 64 by 64. Gotcha. Okay, well, let's not worry about it. Let's just select something from here. It doesn't, for this purpose, it's fine. What yeah. I wanted to also do is to say, okay, we just did that for a folder. However, if I have like here under the automator, these are, uh, let's see, my links to courses, mm -hmm. right? And each of these is a course, but we can go in here. And so it's it's really 
it's a snippet of text because I don't want it actually to launch in the browser. So I use snippets a lot, right, to dump it. Um, but under the menu options, right, I have you know an icon for each one of these things. So I'm looking at it. Let me cancel out of this. Save and cancel out of yeah. that. It's easy for me to have under the automator, where were we here, courses. So here I I can easily jump to, these are the number, you know, the order I've made these courses. So I, I very quickly can jump to it using that icon as a reference for me instead of having to read. I just like having uh, a very quick, easy ways. And here, even like the pages, like, so for my Excel page, right, or my Chrome page, these are visuals to me, I'm leveraging the fact there's my brain has this association to that picture and I don't have to yeah. read. That's awesome. Is there anything else we want to cover in this video? No, I think we've seen the essential things about uh, icons. So just remember that you can use the icons that are provided with Quick Access Pop-Up, but any icons that are on your, on your computer, even files, image files that can now be used uh, as long as they are square because icon has to be square and not larger than 64 pixels because that's the maximum size that is supported for these icons. Oh, you know what? And we just, we don't have to show it, but correct me if I'm wrong. You can actually go in and change the default size that you're displaying as well, correct? Yeah, yeah. We could take a look at that if you wish. It takes two well, seconds. Let's go ahead just because yeah. it is related. Let me go back to sharing. So in here, um, if I'm going to customize, and where yeah. is that under? Go in options, menu icons, the third line. And then you there you can select, you could just not display icons. If you're on the contrary and prefer to have a very small menu, no icons will make your menu very tight. But mm -hmm. if on the opposite, you have uh, visual, visual challenges, you could select 64 and your menu will be huge. Of course, it's not necessarily convenient you to decide which size, which size is a good, is the best for you. How does that work? And I know, cause you've done a lot of work around this with the whole DPI, if your DPI is turned on, uh, it will be scaled as you as uh, the, the menu will be scaled if you decide that you want to scale your display to 150 person for example icons will be scaled as far as i remember i don't use it every day on okay. an everyday basis yeah but theoretically then i could have a very large resolution monitor i could not enable dpi and i could come in here and just increase this font the, sorry the um Icon size yeah. and yeah, cool. Okay. Yeah, try try a forty eight just to take a look at what it can look like. Yeah, so yeah. that's the difference in size. So that's yeah. The, yeah, it's a different size. So it also depends on what is the source of your icon. If you have an icon that is a very small resolution, if you select a large display, you will see the uh, the, the pixels. Uh, your image will be pixelized. So right. that's why personally I prefer to use smaller size, also because it makes your menu more tight on your screen. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because these you can see they're they're looking kind of. You know, yeah, grainy. it would be nice if you would select 16, the smallest size, they would look nice if you would select 16. Size, options, menu icon, is that what it yeah, was? Yeah, yeah. 16. Oh, wow, wow, what a difference. So I, I have my menu like this because it makes it more, I don't have a very, very large screen. I'm not in the high resolution screen. So that's the way I prefer to have more. And if you look at the numbers that you add for your snippets, yeah, they look better right. that way. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because it's probably the original size of your icon image. Well, I, I have an easier fix. I just, I just go like this and then I'm like, oh yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, very yeah. good. Again, it, it does take, you know, an extra couple minutes if you're doing all of them, right? But what I suggest is go through and crank out a lot of them. And then just remember, as you'd add new items to add, just, you know, do it, make it a part of your onboarding process of when you add something in, because it's, it's little things, but when you start realizing that you have these different icons, it makes it so easy and so much faster to jump to what you want. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you, John. Thank you, Joe.